Welcome to GBS Artisan Body Care. Happy spring. I am Asia. Before I get into the video, I want to thank all of my dynamic subscribers. And if you have not subscribed, please do so for weekly videos. Today, I am going to answer many of the questions I receive about my diet. I'm vegetarian and uh, I get a lot of questions that are about what do I eat and do I ever get hungry? Um, is it difficult to transition from, you know, the typical American diet to a vegetarian diet? So in this video, I will answer many of those questions. But before I answer those questions, I am going to show you a delicious meal that I made last night. It's not difficult to prepare. Um, all of the ingredients are fresh and organic and you don't have to be vegetarian to enjoy it. So check out this awesome recipe and I will be back to answer your questions. This recipe begins with black rice, brown rice, and some pink Himalayan salt. Before cooking your black rice, allow it to soak in room temperature water for about four hours, so prepare ahead. Do not drain the water from your black rice. Combine it with the brown rice and your Himalayan salt and allow it to steam in a rice cooker. While the rice is cooking, we are going to make my irresistible creamy pico de gallo. Remove the seeds from two Roma tomatoes and dice them up. Remove the seeds from one jalapeno pepper and dice it up too. Next, chop some fresh cilantro and green onion and add it to your Roma tomato and jalapeno. To complement the freshness of the cilantro, chop up about one third of a cucumber and just toss that in there too. Now we are going to add a tablespoon each of vegan mayonnaise, vegan sour cream, and just a dash of garlic salt, fresh black pepper, and cumin. Combine all of the ingredients and then refrigerate it to keep it cool. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil to a preheated wok and I'm going to cook my meat substitute. I prefer Beyond Beef in the feisty crumble. It has a little spice to it. After the meat substitute has cooked, I remove it from the heat and I combine it with the fresh steamed rice. Next, I place a few leaves of spinach in the center of a spinach tortilla. To that, I add the rice with meat substitute and just a little bit of vegan cheddar cheese. After wrapping the ingredients in the spinach tortilla, I allow it to brown on both sides using vegan butter. Here is the finished meal. You have to try this. It is so delicious. Of course, I cannot answer for every vegetarian, but I can tell you what my typical day of eating consists of. I usually start my day with a smoothie and then the afternoon I'll have like oatmeal or something with fresh fruit. And then I'll end the day with some kind of meal, like the one I just showed you. But in between my meals, if I feel like I need a snack, I'll have maybe like Brazil nuts or raisins or fresh blueberries. Um, and that, you know, keeps, gives me energy throughout the day. I do not take naps. Um, I don't get tired after my meals and it keeps me satisfied. Yes, I do miss uh, the taste of meat. I do miss sometimes, you know, like having like crispy bacon with my breakfast or whatever. But my choice to uh, eliminate meat from my diet, it is a health choice. It, and eventually um, it became an ethical choice for me too. Um, and maybe not all vegetarians or vegans will admit that they miss eating meat and perhaps many don't miss it at all. But I grew up on a diet where it included uh, all kinds of meat, pork, beef, 
um, poultry, fish. And so, you know, I, I miss it, but the rewards of not eating meat far outweighs how much I miss eating it. So I miss it, but I don't regret my decision and I'm happy with my diet and the results that I've seen so far. One of my favorite quotes happens to be that success is not a destination, it is a journey. And I apply that to just about every aspect of my life and um, I do apply it to my diet. Um, for every person, it's different. For me, I began um, eliminating uh, certain things. At the time that I decided to become a vegetarian, I was only eating, I think at that point I was only eating fish. So um, I eventually eliminated fish and then I decided, okay, no dairy. And so it was steps. It was a, it was a process. It wasn't like this cold turkey thing that I decided one day that I'm not going to do this and just cut everything off. So it was a bit of a process. Um, and it's different for every person. It's not something that if you don't convert right away that you should feel bad about. Every person's process is different. Whether it's success or any kind of goal that you want to achieve, it is not a destination. It is a journey. For me, part of the fun of uh, being a vegetarian, and you know, maybe this isn't fun for everyone, but for me it's fun to um, find new vegetarian restaurants or just go to a regular restaurant and figure out what they have on the menu that is conducive to my diet. I don't impose uh, my eating habits on anyone else. So if like we're going out to eat with a group of friends, we don't say, no, we don't eat this or we don't eat that. So we have to go to this kind of restaurant. Actually, what we typically do is we let our friends or family member choose the restaurant and we will find something on the menu that suits us. I hope I was able to answer some of the questions uh, that you may have. Also, if you have any other questions, just leave your question in the comment section, the comment box of this video, or you can message me via Facebook. And um, if so, if you have any questions about diet, skincare, overall wellness, you can ask um, you know, those questions and I will answer them in a future video. The point of my channel is to just promote a healthy lifestyle. It is to promote wellness, overall wellness, and to inspire each and every one of you to just be the absolute best person you can be. That doesn't mean you have to be vegetarian. It doesn't matter what your religious or spiritual preference is. It's just a matter of doing the absolute best to be healthy and happy. So I thank you so much for watching. You have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon.